10 projects in Nigeria that will change the country by 2025. Development is defined as a process of growth and change in a certain location. Nigeria, an African country bordering the Gulf of Guinea, is home to numerous natural wonders and animal reserves. Waterfalls, deep rainforests, savanna, and uncommon primate habitats can be found in protected locations like Cross River National Park and Yinkari National Park. Zuma Rock, a 725 meters tall monolith outside Abuja that is depicted on the Nigerian money, is one of the most well-known sites. Nigeria's economy is especially strong. The West African country continues to grow at a healthy rate of 5 to 6 percent every year, and this trend appears to be poised to continue in the near future. Nigeria is also, by a significant extent, Africa's largest economy. In 2014, it had a GDP of $569 billion, which can be ascribed to the country's rapid development. Nigeria can proudly claim to have the most projects in the West African region, with a total of 21 projects worth a total of $54.2 billion. According to the publication Africa Construction Trends, this is true. The building industry continues to grow thanks to major investment. Here are 10 Nigerian initiatives to keep an eye on in the near future. 10. The Digital Switchover Project Digital Switchover DSO, is a technological innovation in the field of broadcasting that involves the digitalization of broadcast signal creation, distribution, and reception. In contrast to analog broadcasting, DSO provides for the development and receiving of high-quality image and sound clarity, as well as the transmission of many digital channels on a single bandwidth, as opposed to analog broadcasting's single-channel reception. Many countries have made the transition from analog to digital broadcasting, resulting in high-definition and high-quality signal reception and output. 9. Lagos Ibadan Expressway the Lagos Ibadan Expressway connects Ibadan, the capital of Oyo State, and Lagos, Nigeria's largest metropolis, over 127.6 kilometers. It also serves as a significant gateway to Nigeria's northern, southern, and eastern regions. The expressway is Nigeria's oldest, having been inaugurated in August 1978 during the military regime under the leadership of Major General Olusegun Olusanjo, who resigned on October 1, 1979 before being elected on May 29, 1999. 8. The Concession of Airports in Nigeria The Nigerian government is finalizing plans for four national airport concessions. Murtala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos, Namdi Azikiwe International Airport in Abuja, Aminu Kano International Airport in Kano, and Port Harcourt International Airport are the four airports to be concessioned. Hassan Musa, the permanent secretary at the Federal Ministry of Aviation, hinted that only non-aeronautical operations would be affected in a document used by the government to publicize its aviation PPP plans and announce the request for bids. He went on to say that the concession is part of the government's aviation sector strategy, which aims to improve airport service delivery by developing and profitably managing customer-centric airport facilities for safe, secure, and efficient carriage of passengers and goods at world-class standards of quality. The federal government's objective in terms of air transport value chain growth will be achieved, says the project's description. 7. The Oil and Gas Park, Bailsa. The Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board plans to finish the Nigerian oil and gas park in a mile one, Bales Estate, in the fourth quarter of 2022. The project began with a groundbreaking ceremony on April 27, 2018, and is presently roughly 68% complete, with four major structures nearing completion and foundation construction on several buildings and components of the project beginning. The park's economic advantage required that the facility would boost domestic production of oil and gas components, reversing the current pattern in which the sector relied on importation for the majority of its finished goods. The park will also help the country conserve foreign cash and provide jobs for its citizens. Because the majority of the production will be done here, 
It will also boost our capacity and lead to technological advancements. It will provide a large number of jobs for the community, as well as a ripple effect on other economic activities. The advantages are immeasurable. 6. Lagos Blue and Red Line Railway Lagos Rail Mass Transit is a city rail system that is currently being constructed and built in Lagos. The Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority, LAMADA, is in charge of the system. The private sector will provide the railway equipment, including electric power, signaling, rolling stock, and fare collection equipment, under a concession contract. LAMADA is in charge of the network's policy direction, regulation, and infrastructure. 5. Lecky Deep Seaport Lecky Deep Seaport, a multi-purpose deep seaport in the heart of the Lagos Free Trade Zone, is planned to be one of West Africa's most advanced ports, providing vital assistance to Nigeria's and the region's booming commercial operations. Mr. Babajade Sambo Alu, the executive governor of Lagos State, recently stated, China Haber Engineering Company, Czech, and Toleram have exhibited a very high level of dedication and capability, notably by keeping to the building schedule and timeframes. The endeavor to complete construction work on the breakwater has improved significantly, now standing at 79.66%, while the construction of landside infrastructure at the port has received significant attention, now standing at 67.82%. 4. Ebony State Airport. Nigeria's federal government plans to work with communities in Ebony State to build an airport in the region. In the Eza area, a projected international airport will be built. Communities such as Amuser, Oriuser, Umuziakeaha, and Umuhara in the Eza South and Eza North Council regions have given the government permission to build the airport on their territory. 3. The Second Niger Bridge. By improving the commercial viability of the immediate area and revitalizing economic life, the bridge will improve traffic flow, improve road safety, and generate more opportunities for local residents. The project entails the building of a 1.6-kilometer bridge, a 10.3-kilometer highway, an Ori interchange, and a toll station. The second Niger Bridge is a vital piece of national infrastructure that will help the surrounding states and the entire country. 2. Dangate Oil Refinery The Dangate Oil Refinery is a 650,000 barrel per day integrated refinery project in Nigeria's Lekki Free Zone, near Lagos. It will be Africa's largest oil refinery and the world's largest single train plant, according to plans. The Dangate Petroleum Refinery's pipeline infrastructure is the world's largest, with 1,100 kilometers of pipe capable of handling 3 billion standard cubic feet of gas each day. The refinery alone has a 400 megawatt power plant that can meet EBAT and DISCO's entire power need. All of Nigeria's refined product requirements will be met by the refinery, which will also have a surplus of each of these products for export. The Dangate Petroleum Refinery is a multi-billion dollar project that will generate a market for Nigerian crude worth $11 billion per year. It's designed to process Nigerian crude, but it can also handle other types. 1. Anambra State Airport Anambra Airport, also known as Yumiri Cargo Airport, is a cargo airport in Anambra State, Nigeria, that serves Yumiri Yumiluri and the adjacent villages. On April 11, 2017, Anambra State inaugurated the Yumiri Cargo Airport project, which was finished in April 2021. On October 30, 2021, Governor Willie Obino of Anambra State officially opened Anambra Airport. The Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, NCAA, has given the Anambra State government permission to begin commercial operations at Anambra Airport on November 2, 2021. These are Nigerian development projects that, when finished by 2025, will change Nigerians' economic and social standing. Please like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification button for more developmental videos if you enjoyed watching this video from Africa Reloaded.